What's up, everybody? If you ask me, coming back at you with the Real Frame of Mind members. Hola. We are just reviewing a film that came, well, it's been on Netflix for a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the Hunt, starring Mads Mikkelsen and some other people that I don't know, because I think yeah. it's like a Swedish film or something yeah, like that. Yeah, believe it is Swedish. Uh, Swedish, yeah. Did some good damage at some of the foreign film festivals, some of the bigger name film festivals, and also had an Oscar nom for Best Foreign Film. Mm -hmm. So, myself, Scott S. Box Nimi, the champ over here, and the guy who made him the champ over <laughs> there, uh, we're going to take you Should through be. this film. Um, just a disclaimer quickly, uh, please, if you have a film that you want us to review, we, we'd be all for it. What we do is we're just trying to go through some old uh, films that we want to dissect and talk about a little bit more. And if there's one that you have, hit us up on the comments or on our Facebook page, and we'll get back to you, and we'll we'll do it up for you. So, yep. um, first of all, I guess your guys' take on just going into the film, um, obviously the plot is not one that you see often. It's very, very ori original, I guess, yeah. So how did you guys uh, manage to, to kind of get yourself ready for what was about to unfold on screen? Damn it, go. I didn't prepare at all. <laughs> yeah, I have I literally. honestly was like, oh, it's the hunt. Uh, it looks like it's probably going to be like a dude hunting another dude, like, you know, a cop thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not even, like, a little bit of what it actually was. Right, like, the yeah. hunt actually was, like, a very small part of the movie. I, yeah, I didn't, I honestly didn't know the plot of it. And I was texting D Damon Washer before I did, so he was like, it wrecked him emotionally. He's like, very, very emotional film yeah and not in a bad way like it, it was very successful with that but so i was like oh i don't know what what the heck is happening you know like so i'm right. like more intrigued to watch it and then <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it is <he's> uh, right <laughs> it is deep and i mean anybody who hasn't seen this i would uh, i would kind of either brace yourself or go check out the synopsis or even watch the movie before watching this because um i was the same exact way as you guys were and I went to see it in theaters. So oh, you did? Yeah, I had, oh, I had the movie pass at the time, and I was just hitting up everything I could. Yeah. And it was on one of the indie focuses, and checked it out. And again, just by the, the name of it, and the care, uh, well, the actor, Mads Mikkelsen, who was in a lot of um, different blockbusters. Yeah. You know, he was just in Doctor Strange. He was in yeah, Casino Royale. Yep. So, um, great actor. I love him. Yeah, he is and very good. going into this and being like, okay, what the hell's going on here? What did I get, my, what did I get myself into? It was... It was kind of jarring at first, and as it unfolded, I was just completely sucked in. Oh, yeah. And that's the the beauty of this movie. It really, it's a, like, I mean, as far as, like, a movie goes, it's not, like, a crazy amount that actually happens. Right. But, like, every single moment on screen, you are watching like this, and it's very intense. So right. what we are actually alluding to is um, the plot of this film is a man who works at a kindergarten, and... Um, he has a best friend who has uh, a daughter, which I don't even know at that age if you could call her troubled or not, but um, something, maybe just the life at home that she lives in. Right. Uh, she's just a little bit off. Yeah. you could. I mean, and that's one of the things I wanted to ask you guys, if you thought she was off or she just has Definitely. an imagination to her. But she accuses Mads Mikkelsen of showing her his, you know what? His private parts. Yes. Penis. And Lord what knows. takes place from there is yeah. what the 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 title is in fact about. Uh, it becomes basically a witch hunt. And Essentially, yeah. from the moment they find out to um, till the moment it's resolved, yeah. uh, there is it, it, it's it's completely against him. And I mean, I guess I would ask you guys. Uh, I mean. Typical kind of three act structure. Did you guys enjoy the way that this film was paced and um, how the the order of everything went out? I did, for the most part. I think ninety, meh, like eighty five percent of the movie was paced perfectly. I guess my only complaint is like really one of the only big complaints about the whole movie in general is that last the very end, the jump to a year later and stuff. Uh, not a lot explained there. Right. Um, so it kind of left you kind of like, okay, well, seems like everything's all right. But, you know, obviously the right. ending happens and then you're like, mm -hmm. never mind. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, everything up to that paced, I think, very well. Like, yeah, it was, and obviously, like I said before, it's not a lot going on. So everything that happens is, is very particular and keeps you glued to the screen. So 
Yeah, um, I, I I really enjoyed the pacing. I don't think there's anything really about this movie that I can can point to and say they didn't really do that very well. Yeah. Um, the ending was a bit weird, but I feel like it also came full circle because a couple things happened at the end that were mentioned earlier in the movie, so it kind of yeah. wrapped everything up into a nice little bow and then fade to black. And that was, I, 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 liked, I liked it because it made me think a lot afterwards. Like, I'd spent a good amount of time dwelling on it, like, what just happened. Yeah. And, like, I'm still not really sure. Like, I have an opinion, but I'm not sure if it's the right one. Yeah. And it's just... Well, you got to have an opinion. <laughs> that's, that's really what you want from a movie. Oh, absolutely. Especially one with, like, a kind of a open-ended ending like this one had. Right. Uh, I mean, I think, uh, personally, I mean, I watched it back in, I th- well, 2012 or whatever when, when it came, came out, out. Yeah. and I haven't watched it since, and it's, it's, it is almost down to a T, though, you know, when people tell you, it's one of those movies you can only watch once. For me, that never happens. For me, I can watch Schindler's List every other day if I had to, and it <laughs> wouldn't bother me. I could watch 12 Years <coughs> a Slave, it wouldn't bother me, um, but this movie... Uh, obviously it's one that I saw and I, I, I enjoyed, but I haven't gone back to it in four years, right. you know what I mean? And then just to do it for this, I almost wanted to stop it in the beginning again and like, just say, nah, I think I can go off my memory. But, uh, I think going back and I'm glad I ended up rewatching it cause it's just, it's one of those things where you are so invested into the main character that yeah. you know what's going to happen <clears throat> and you don't want it to happen to that main character. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you like him almost too much. Like, yeah. Everything that happens to him just like wrecks you inside. Right, and I, I think you know the, you know the the major plot you know in movies like this where you know or even like the fallout and like a romantic comedy it's like the thing yeah. that I don't want to see. Yeah. Because then it comes back and you know yeah. but this one is it hits me a little differently but I, I think the setup in the first act is absolutely flawless. And it's it's so subtle in the way that it, it's telling its story because you learn so much about this character and the little girl and who he works with and everything like that without even they're not even speaking our language you yeah. know which I think that is it's flawless filmmaking but in in a way too it's very simple you know it's, it doesn't do it doesn't make any break um, many rules. But man, does did it, it says so much about the characters and, and you know the situation that's to come. Like Damon, you pointed to earlier, stuff that had comes around full circle. They don't just forget about it; they yeah. actually bring it back up at the end, which is I, I thought was great. Um, as for you know the cinematic techniques in this, did you guys did you guys were you blown mind blown or anything by anything that happened in here? Like <clears throat> cinematically, no, no. I mean, I think it looked good overall. Right, like. But I don't think they were trying to do anything that was going to, you know, jar you or, you know, I think what was most important were the actors on screen and the story that was unfolding. And I think for what they gave us cinematically, it, it fit perfectly. Right. I think the I think probably the best cinematic you know, moments came at the end, honestly, in yeah. the woods. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely, I agree 100%. It's... The, the, the story is simple. I mean, simple in the right. fact that you, you know, it's very linear. You mean, it's just it's yeah, straightforward it, it what happens. It is twists or turns or anything like that. Right. And then, um, you know, I like how they decided to go with the storytelling in that same direct or the filmmaking in the same direction, yeah. where it's not over the top. You know, you're not getting spinning cameras or, you know, yeah. you know going through walls yeah. or anything like that. It was, it was straightforward. And I think one of the greatest things to watch... If anybody out there is looking, um, you know, to learn how to use lenses, this movie does a phenomenal job at choosing lenses, because when they have a focus on Lucas, who or Mads Mikkelsen's character, yeah. and when we see uh, him, and it's 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 very um, the focus is very on his character, and there's everything else in the background is is um, fuzzy. It's out of focus. So you're you're feeling very intimate with with the character itself, and then you have all of these scenes with outside characters or supporting characters, where everything's done in a wide lens, where you have um, you know depth of field and everything like that, yeah, which yeah. I thought was it, it's great. You you know you can just watch it just for that, and I yeah. think that's one of the major major right. things I've I've picked up on the second time watching it. Um, also, I've noticed that kind of like 
the beginning of the movie, happier parts of the movie started in like the brighter fall tones. I was about to say the and lighting kinda, was pretty fantastic. And it kind of was it was lighter overall. And then obviously when everything started unfolding, unfolding, it turned into winter literally. Yeah. And and yeah. that tone kind of took front yeah. and foremost. It gets of the, it gets grayer and grayer, and then it just turns. I mean, especially right as like the climax ends, like it gets dark. Yeah. Like they're dark like the entire time. <clears throat> When when the dad's talking to the girl and then when he goes and sees Mads Mikkelsen, oh, like it's the, all just like in the in the house, yeah, dark, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's good, and that's like the like end of it, and then it goes light again because like everything's supposed to be later, fine. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, we've talked about the you know cinematic techniques, um, you know about the story in in general. What did you did you guys feel like the writing was was sound writing, or did you th- think there was a few areas where they could have could have gotten a little bit better, or was it just perfect for what they were trying to do? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really sums it up. It's just like, I look at this as like three extremely strong elements of the film. It would be the acting, the directing, and then the writing, because I think it did exactly what it was supposed to do, and I don't remember the writer's names. I feel bad, but um, but they okay. they they constructed something that was going to be... <clears throat> right to the point, like we said, but if effective in, in every level to keep us all, you know, enthralled the entire time. And I think that's exactly what they did. Yeah. Um, they added some parts with the writing that <clears throat> really, like, got you in the feels. Um, good God, I said that. And I think the only thing that I was kind of, like, unclear about was the end, when all yeah. of a sudden he's, like, kind and of magically end. back together with his girlfriend, like... I felt like that could have been resolved in, like, a simple conversation. Yeah. But it was just, like, a one year later, everything's fine. Like, he's got his girlfriend back and all this stuff. And I'm just kind of like... But you don't know if that's the writing in general. It could have been... Yeah, just, well, it could have been... Like, they, yeah, yeah exactly. It, it, agreed. I <clears throat> would have liked to have just, like, an extra scene in there or something. Because it, it, it is almost a two-hour runtime. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe they cut it down to be a little bit smoother. Mm-hmm. But, I mean... The story in itself is just so it's so engaging. You wouldn't yes. think that you know a possible pedophile, and um, you know the subsequent uh, you know harassment he takes would be that engaging. But man, does it it hooks you right away, and you know you're like I, like we said before, you're so interested in Lucas, and you you feel like you're friends with him, and and it, it just goes back to the way that they you know showed us his friends and how yeah. they acted around each other and. Um, you know, his, his family's relationship and everything like that. So I think throughout all of it, was it was, you know, phenomenal. And, you know, you got those, um, that church scene yeah. at the end where it's like the guy is just, his spirit is just absolutely broken. And his, yep. That scene, I remember that scene from the first time I watched it and loved it even more the second time. Yeah. When, uh, I mean, just because you've probably been in a situation where, you know, something you know someone's been talking about you or saying something about you go in there and it's like a million eyes on you and yeah. stuff like that and he's just a broken man and he just lashes out which is you know one of my favorite scenes it's, it's understandable too and i think the best part of i mean i, I feel like i don't want to spoil anything but like the well, be- it's, a, it's a it's 2012 yeah, or yeah, 2016 yeah okay so. fair enough but like I spoiler feel like, alert coming up. Yeah, I feel like the best part is that the whole ride, the entire movie, you know he's innocent. So right. you are there trying to. I mean, I I know from my perspective is that I'm sitting there, I'm like thinking of every way that you can he could try getting out of the situation. But it's such a situation that like even no matter what, obviously even a year later, when it seems like everybody's buddy buddy, nope, he's still not escaped something this drastic and this so i mean yeah and i think that's a testament to the writing honestly yeah i, I mean and the directing too yeah i just think yeah throughout throughout the whole whole ordeal like you said the the, the fact that we know what's going on and the fact that everybody else you, we're just ripping our hair out yeah. sitting here like what are you what are you doing this guy you don't even give him a chance to explain himself well yeah and even when the girl goes back on it you know what i mean right they just chalk it up to you're no. trying to suppress yourself right. because it's a bad memory that you don't want to think about anymore. It's but, like, but also you know it's nice because you do have an arc from Lucas. Lucas takes a bunch of shit from everybody. Yeah. And he finally, at the end, when he lets loose and just 
you know, the supermarket yeah, scene. Yeah, I was going to say. And yeah. then in the church where, you know, he's, you know, telling, like, you're out of your mind, like, look in my eyes, you know, he said before, I know when you're lying, the best, the best friend's like, I know when you're lying, mm-hmm. you had this thing with your eye, and then so he's yelling at him, you know, look in my eyes, and everything like that, it's just, I thought it was a, a, a great performance and everything. Oh, man. So, let's get to the monkey in the room, the ending. What is your, your guys' interpretation of of the ending? We're all thinking about the same thing, right? The gunshot? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, who wants to take it away first? I don't really have an interpretation. So, like, I mean, I have, I've obviously thought of possibilities, but I have no clear cut. What is yours? You seem like you have. Uh, I feel like it's an ambiguous ending. I, I, when I first heard the gunshot and saw, it, you know, him fall to the ground, the, the first thing I thought of was earlier in the movie... The father said, if I find out what you did to my daughter, I will put a bullet in your head. Yeah. Yeah. And that bullet came pretty fucking close to his head. True. So I feel like it leaves a little ambiguousness to, like, maybe there is a chance that this whole thing could have actually been true. Like, maybe something did happen. And the more I think about it, like, because there's there's moments in the movie where they just kind of, like, weird things happen. Like Um, Like the look in the church? Is that one of them? Maybe... Uh, cause that I just kind of chalked up to like the dad thinking like, oh, I kind of fucked up. Like I didn't think there was really a look. Oh no! I thought it about Mads Mikkelsen's look. Yeah, when he's looking back. Yeah, which is which is actually the the cover of the film. Yeah. Which is him looking back, but I I I mean personally, I feel like that scene is him just enough's enough. Yeah, he's got to do something about it for sure. For sure, and I just there was, and I don't I don't know if he did or not because that's the part that's like killing me inside because I'm like. Did he, like, did he, is he a pedophile or is he not? Because I, I feel like there's just moments in there where it's like, he he might have been, you know? I mean, obviously there's, there's a lot of evidence to him not being. We're with him most of the movie and we see, like, he's telling everyone and, you know, yeah. the kids are making up stories about it and he's getting, you know, free because of it. But, like, when the brother, the girl's brother shows, or his friend shows her, like the little porno. Yep. She curls up into like almost a ball. Like 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 almost traumatized. See, I took that as that as to that's where she got the lie from anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, okay. And, and that's what I thought the like first time, but I'm kinda thinking now like it's possible. Does she like I mean, sure, like that's where she gets the lie from, but like why did she just start like kinda like curling up like unless something like happened right. to her I, well and there was a part of it where i thought the dad was actually the one who's uh, been like molesting her too and that's kind of maybe something that i don't know i don't know no it's I, so fucking conf- I, like, I, I mean i understand it but like i completely disagree because when when the when the friend or the brother or the friend shows the video to her or whatever he says something about his rod. And yeah, and she uses yeah. a lot she of the it, same she words. She says it I like almost. She almost says I it back yeah. verbatim, and yeah. it's because, to me personally, her home life has a lot to do with it because she's constantly left alone. Um, the fam, you get you. They specifically show you a scene where she's outside and the parents are arguing. Yeah, she feels left alone. She just wants someone to love her, and then and when she yeah. and when she sees how the the young boys are interacting with him when they're playing in the pillow yeah. room. And she wants that, and that's when she smacks one on his lips, and he says, no, you can't kiss people on the lips. And then she tries to give him that heart. And then her being crushed by him saying, like, go give it to somebody else. Yeah, I I, I completely agree with all of that. Right. I just kind of, like, think that maybe there was a little bit, like, reading between the lines going on. Like, maybe there is something below the surface. I feel like if they wanted to do that, they would have implied it more throughout the movie then you know what i mean like unless they there's only really like didn't want you to know or yeah. at least balance the scales a little yeah, bit. yeah yeah just to, just i mean which i think could have worked too if if you if they gave us you know some like maybe he did do it you know what i mean but yeah. i didn't feel like they really did that enough i felt like it was i felt like of, the only real thing that sorry to cut you off no it's so good i feel like the only thing that really kind of leaned towards that was the gunshot at the end was like maybe there's i don't even because that i feel like that was ambiguous like why would someone i mean other than it's just like Someone completely different because they didn't really show who it was. They yeah. had the son blocking who the person was, so it could have been literally anyone shooting at him. Yeah, but like, you feel like it's probably the father. I I have a take on it now. Okay, I just, go ahead. I just it just came to me. I I don't think that it matters who it was. I think the point is is that no matter what he'll never get like he's never gonna get away from this. Okay, it's going to be sense. over him forever. Like no matter how buddy buddy he can get with everybody. 
it's still going to be there. This this big giant, yeah. you know, moment in his life is going to live with him forever. Probably. Well, I agree with the fact that well, I'm I'm saying the the ambiguity within the final scene to me comes from who was the one who shot at him. Okay. But if you paid attention, like we did throughout the movie, you know flat out who did it. It was when the dad said, if I find out you did this, I'm going to put a bullet in your head. Yes, yes. And at the end, it wasn't him. So instead of putting a bullet in his head, he's kind of reassuring him, saying... Okay. Yeah, you're, you know, it's not you. It didn't happen, kind of thing. You know, because what is it like... Is he just going to take, like, my my word is my bond kind of thing? Yeah. no, they yeah, put him through. They put him through hell. What's the only way to get through to this guy? You know, if I were, if I accused one of you of being a pedophile, I would probably think I'd never talk to you again after that. Yeah, because I yeah. fucked up so mad. Oh, for sure. But if there was indeed a, a moment where we were in the same room and we couldn't kind of get it across how sorry we were, I think maybe that's the way. Because you got to so remember, they're pretty, they're pretty also. macho. They, yeah, they are. True. They're portrayed as you know. Beer drinking, you know, hunting, yeah. and yeah. you know, that's true. I didn't think of it. Very that way. close friendship, and to sh- to shoot at him and miss on purpose, you know, I think for me was basically in a sign of saying, you know, yeah. it, what okay. would be water the, under the bridge, well, be, as best as we can. I, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, that and that makes sense, and that that would be very. I mean, I feel like that would feel like more of a comfortable ending. But um, what would be the point of not showing his face then? You know what I mean at the end, like. Well, that's what I'm saying. I I, I think <coughs> that's where they want to throw you off. The ambiguity you, is yeah. within who did it. But like I said, if you watch it close yeah. enough, it's, it makes it, sense. It, it makes the it most out. sense. Yeah. Cool. I think that's a great thing about this ending. Is there's, I mean, we have three differing like opinions of what happened, and I'm I'm that's kind true. of like, and it makes I'm sense, pretty sure I'm reading too much into it, but like, because I, I I first had your opinion. Like, of the ending, like, it was, he just needs to move away from that area. He's never going to get away from, you know, the fact that he was accused. He didn't actually even do it. And then your opinion is great, too, and it's just kind of like, that's what makes this a great ending, is that, like, you can read three different things into it, and who's to say you're wrong? Right, and and I think just the way that it wraps up in the fact that the last time we see them before, uh, well, one of the last times we see... Lucas with the friends or the community is in that church scene Mm -hmm. and then uh, right then they flash forward I can't remember exactly I know he gets let out he he gets let let out and then then they they start abusing him that's right yes and then they you fast forward to when the kid has you know his hunting license or whatever and then they go they all go out on a hunt but you know I don't I mean I feel like it would kind of it would, I don't know. I think I said, I'm just saying, like, I, if they were trying to tell us something different, I don't, I just, I feel like there's too many, too many points on this side rather than this side. Yeah. Sure. Then, like, <clears throat> him going through that big, emo- it'd be like uh, one of those big emotional speeches in a war movie or something, and then just having the good guys just get slaughtered. It would make no sense, right? You know? Like in Lord of the Rings, Lord. if. <laughs> what? I was just glory. That has happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, but I'm saying, like, you know, in like. No, I get you, though. Like, Lord yeah. of the Re- You know, I just. It didn't feel like that throughout the movie where, where we're just. We're set from the beginning to be on this guy's side. Yeah. And I I can understand if it was a shot by someone else that wasn't the dad saying, like, you know, I still don't believe you. Yeah. But I guess that's that's the scene right there. The fact that we don't know who it is. Yeah, that's that's the big part of it. That is good. Or why they did it. Right. Uh, So, letter grades. I gotta go start? It's like, uh, you get to go first. Well, I'm gonna give it an A. Um, I think it is just, for what it is, I think it's near perfect. Um, Totally doesn't matter that it's a foreign film. You follow it, complete, and, like, I mean, the words don't even, like, matter almost it, it just flows so perfectly well plus great directing great script and i think standout acting every single character in that movie was believable oh yeah the young um, kids all the kids yeah to the star all the, it's, un- all, it's unbelievable how yeah. sound the acting was right yeah. it, it was just completely believable and yeah a is, is and i think the only reason i gave it an a instead of an a plus is because i agree with you 
on the fact that I probably won't watch this movie uh, again, if not for a long time, because right. it's such a hard subject. Right. You got to kind of get, you got to gotta break those you waves. Get in that, yeah. Until you're in the clear where you can kind of settle into it. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Yep. Um, yeah, I agree. I give it an A. Um, pretty close to an A+. Plus. Yeah, it's very um, close. Don't really have much to add. Uh, I did, I told, after I watched this movie, I had to work. And I told Justin about it, uh, who commented on one of our videos previously. Oh, yeah, the and, Tom Hanks one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was, like, I was hashing through the plot with him, and he's just, like, he's, like, really into it. And then I'm, like, yeah, it's a fantastic movie, man. You should go watch it. He's, like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I'm, like, I mean, kind of a downer that it has subtitles. He's, like, yep, you lost me. Like, See, he was he was there. He was going to go home and watch it. He even said, like, I was going to go home and watch this, but he said it had subtitles. I'm like, it's actually, like... They do speak some English in it. They too, do, and, so. I, and I told him, like, there's some there, English, but, like, I mean, it helps, actually. Yeah, like, the, having subtitles, because it keeps your focus, because you have to kind of pay closer attention to the words on the page. It's, the very, dis- it's very disappointing that people would shut themselves off to foreign subtitle movie, because, you're, like... Ha- there's like probably like fifteen twenty movies that I love dearly that are foreign films that right. I would have never seen if I would have shut them off. So Pan's Labyrinth. Yep. Get Pan. Yep. Um, for me, I think basically how I feel about this movie. I don't. F- I feel like well, this is one of the only movies I can't go back and watch, um, on a daily basis mm-hmm. or like a biweekly thing. Uh, but I'm not gonna downgrade it for that. I I really honestly truly think that this is. Very sound filmmaking. Anybody who wants to go and watch a film that's done right, mm-hmm. a film that is clicking on all cylinders yep. from, you know, the casting to, you know, the choices with their editing, maybe, you know, maybe not jumping ahead like it did, yeah. you know, where you lose yourself. But if you're focused, it's it demands your attention. If yes. you're focused and you follow through all the plot points and everything that's going on, I think you will end up being just as amazed as we were. Um so I'm going A plus. Very good. I can't uh, I can't deny it. So um, that was the hunt. It's on Netflix right now. Yep. 2012. Bunch of awards attached to it. Uh, a, a gripping film. Um, don't let the subtitles chase you away. Don't let the content chase you away. Yep. The you know the plot has to be seen. I, IMDb top 250. Yeah. If you're a movie lover, this is a movie you should definitely see. Right. And, and you know very very uh, well well done throughout so mm-hmm. if you have a movie that you want us to um review and talk about comment us down below we actually got one for eternal sunshine yep, which yep. is up go check that one out and we actually got another one for kids so, oh we gotta do kids yeah oh so uh, hopefully uh <laughs> <laughs> was it knutson Yes. I oh. knew it! <laughs> so keep them coming. I mean, we like doing it. It's it, it's nice when it's a mystery. It's fun even just having us, a few of us decide what one to do. So I, yeah. I look forward to it all the time. So um, like, subscribe, comment, uh, everything like that. Keep the keep the comments coming. We have, we've had some good, uh, good discussions in your guys' reviews for yeah. the newer movies. And these ones are just a take on, you know, older movies. Yeah. Maybe that got pushed away or pushed aside. Definitely. So... So please check us out and give us a listen, and you guys are awesome. Adios.